Hey guys, it's Nate Best again. We are at another Starbucks location. This time, we are in, we're not even really in a town. We're actually on the highway. We are basically just outside of Oshawa. Um, so between Oshawa and Port Hope on the 401. So we're gonna check out the Starbucks in this truck station behind me. And uh, we're gonna try, we're gonna try a different drink and see how it tastes. And we'll do another review and check out what it's like in here. Let's go do it. Thank you. We got our coffee. We ordered the black eye this time. It's pretty common coffee. I get a lot. It's basically just two espresso shots and a normal cup of coffee. It's appearance wise, it looks the exact same as a normal cup of coffee because all this is extra shots in it. Um, one thing I will say before I even taste it is that there wasn't a choice given to me in terms of what kind of coffee I got it in. So normally when you go to Starbucks and you get a coffee with espresso shots in it, you usually can choose between maybe two or three different types of coffee. There was no choice. So I'm, assume, I'm gonna assume this is the Pike, which is the common house blend that most Starbucks carry all the time. So let's give this a taste. I think it's actually stronger than I'm used to as far as the espresso. It definitely tastes more, it's got more of a kick up to it than what I normally get. So I don't know if maybe they just add a little extra espresso in there for me. Um, the one girl that worked there was, she had a trainee badge. She had the esteemed pleasure of getting to wear a little ribbon under her name thing. It said trainee on it, which I thought was, you know, not great as far as appearance wise, but I guess that's how they do it. Overall, pretty good coffee. You know, nothing, nothing outstanding. It's your basic espresso shot. It definitely tastes stronger though. Um, and it definitely, I think it definitely was the regular Pike blend, which is their normal go-to blend. All right, so I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on that, uh, on that Starbucks on the highway. So initial thoughts, I mean, it definitely doesn't look like your normal Starbucks because it is inside of a truck stop. So it's a little bit more open. I mean, it doesn't really give you the same Starbucks atmosphere because you're kind of surrounded by other non-Starbucks settings. Like obviously the tables are not going by the star, the tables aren't Starbucks. Um, the chairs aren't Starbucks. There's like signs from the truck stop itself all over the place. I saw a little booth to the side that was selling Blue Jays apparel, like t-shirts and pennants and hats and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna give it overall about a six and a half, roughly, um, for first impression, just because it wasn't what you're used to when you go into a traditional Starbucks location that's like a standalone. Um, staff, they weren't really as bubbly as I'm used to. I'm used to seeing really high, really happy, uh, energetic people. So I'm gonna give that about a seven. Um, definitely better staff than when I first approach the Starbucks. I felt that once I interacted with the staff, it felt a little bit more like a Starbucks, but it didn't fully feel like a normal Starbucks. Um, cleanliness, I can't give them, I can't fault them. I'm going to give them a full 10 out of 10 on that. They were actually in the process of cleaning as we were getting our drinks made. So realistically, I don't think there was anything that they missed. It seemed pretty, pretty well kept. 
and um, the drink itself, I'll give it a, I'll give it an eight. It's, uh, it wasn't, it was good. It's, you know, like I said, espresso is not that hard to screw up, but it's, um, it was a little bit stronger than I'm used to. So, I mean, you can, if you like a strong drink, that's great. If you don't like a strong drink, that's not so great. But also she was a newer trainee, so I don't think she probably, um, was as used to making certain drinks as what other Starbucks baristas are used to making. So I can't really, I can't really give her a full score, but I can't really falter too much on the score itself either. I gotta give her some leeway. Anyways, those are my final thoughts. Overall, it was a pretty good experience. Like I said, Starbucks is usually a pretty good go-to place. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments about what, about what you like in your drinks, or if you wanna give me feedback on how I can make these videos better, please leave a comment down below. And uh, I'm gonna do these more often, so if you wanna see another one, please hit that subscribe button and then you can be notified of my future Starbucks reviews uh, as they come. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys on the next one.